In this question, we have to decide which of the three given statements are true about a black body. To start, I wrote down a brief definition of what a black body is. Well, it is a perfect absorber and radiator of energy. In other words, its emissivity is 1, so E is equal to 1. Next, let's use this equation from subtopic 8.2 to calculate the temperature of the body. Here lambda max is the peak wavelength and T is temperature. Rearranging the equation for T, we get T is equal to 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by the peak wavelength, which is given to be 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 6. I can simplify by 2.9, and when I divide 10 to the power of negative 3 by 10 to the power of negative 6, I have to subtract the powers, so I get negative 3 minus negative 6, in other words, negative 3 plus 6, which gives me 10 to the power of 3 kelvins, or 1000 kelvins. Let's continue by calculating the energy radiated by the body per second. Well, the energy radiated per second is power, so we will use this equation from subtopic 8.2, where P is power, E is emissivity, sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant, A is the area of the black body, and T is temperature. So substituting into this equation, we get P is equal to 1 times the Stefan Boltzmann constant, so 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 8, times the temperature, and I will use 10 to the power of 3 here, and this is raised to the power of 4. Working further, we get 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 8, times, and 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 4. We need to multiply the power, so 3 times 4, so I get 10 to the power of 12. 10 to the power of negative 8 times 10 to the power of 12 is 10 to the power of 4, because we have to add the powers. So we get approximately 5.7 times 10 to the power of 4 joules. Let's examine the three statements. The first statement is true, because the temperature is 1000 kelvins. The second statement is also true, because the energy radiated in a second, or power, is approximately 5.7 times 10 to the power of 4 joules. And the third statement is also true, because of the definition of a black body. This means that the answer to this question is D.